What up guys, so I just arrived to Picture Rock Skate Park and I'm going to be doing a product review. That product's going to be an AOS V4 deck. I'm going to go over specs and my thoughts on the deck overall. That was sketchy. Alright guys, so this is the deck. Um, I just got done finishing up a little bit of a session, but I just pulled the deck out just to talk about it just a little bit more. So guys, so this deck comes in at 4.9 wide, 21 inches long, and 4.9 inches wide with a 83 degree, 83 degree head tube angle. Um, overall, the deck, I think, is a super, super good deck just for park riding, street riding. Uh, basically, you're gonna, it's going to get the job done for a, exactly what you want to do, essentially. So... For all you like street riders who like do nose blunts over crooks, the front end has a plastic piece, which is this right here, and it actually prevents the deck from getting bent, which is super, super cool. It's uh, I think it's one of the most innovative things uh, to ever put on a deck. I think every deck, um, if it's open in the in the in the front of the deck, like most decks are, I think that every company should come up with their own idea to make something similar to this because overall it it's going to make your deck last 10 times longer than it would and it makes it 10 times you know more more likely to last just a lot longer and it's not going to you know cave in overriding I'm not too I'm not exactly uh, sure on who posted it I don't know if it was Envy Scooters themselves or one of the riders but um, this guy, uh, this deck, guys, is probably one of the most. I think it's one of the best decks on the market. Uh, it fits every style of riding. I feel so well, and it's very innovative. And the one thing that I really wish that will uh, bring me into the next topic, the one thing I wish they would have done different with this deck, is make the end a box. And now, if you notice, most decks on the market don't really have this style of cut. It's not really cut like this. And. I, I recently went on to Instagram. If you guys don't follow my Instagram, I'm linking down below. But I went to Instagram and I noticed that Scooter Brad posted a picture of the new AOS V4 decks. Now I think it's called an AOS V4 XL. I'm not too sure exactly what it's going to be called, but they absolutely changed the game with the deck and you guys will absolutely see me riding it in the future once it drops. Alright guys, so the brand new AOS V4 decks that are coming out have, I think it's the same head tube angle, same width and everything. I don't know if it has any more concave. That's another thing too guys, if you're going to ride this deck and you are a fan of like a lot of concave, you like your, you know, deck to have concave, such as like a Phoenix deck or like, let's see a TSI Sledgehammer. This deck, if you really look at it, doesn't necessarily have the most uh, concave at all. It almost has next to no concave. And it's really, it's not really a make or break, but if you really are looking to get concave, I would suggest just uh, not buying this deck, really. If the deck fits you and everything, you know, I, I think you should go with it. If you like it, like how the specs look, lengthwise, widthwise, head tube angle, definitely go with this deck, guys. It's, it's super, super good for park riding and street riding. Also, too, the new AOS V4 decks have a boxed-in piece. Now... What's different about the new decks is that it doesn't actually, so if you guys look at this, it doesn't actually go, I'll, I'll, I'll try to find the actual post to show you guys, but they actually innovated a plastic piece that goes like this. So it's kind of like a block that slides in. I'm not too sure if they're going to be making it a metal or a, like, I'm, I'm not too sure. I only, the, the only pictures that they posted were... Like, it, it didn't really show exactly how it's going to be, so I'm super excited to see how this new deck comes out, guys. Super, super cool. I also know that uh, John Reyes, I think, took over this colorway ever since Max Peters left. Not too... I, I'm pretty sure he took it over. Um, this, this color over. I'm not, I'm not too sure. I, I know he posted about it, and it looks to me like it's the same color. It might be a little bit different on the sides or whatever, but uh, he took that color over, if you guys were wondering. So the one thing I really get um, questions on about the AOS V4 is how well does it withstand street riding? Now, if you guys follow my Instagram, if you follow me just in general, and if you know about me, I'm a big, big fan of doing 50-50s, nose blunts, three full whips, and 
I wouldn't necessarily categorize my riding as park riding because I like to do park tricks in the streets, if you know what I mean. Like, I, I still throw bri flips inwards, whatever, in the streets, just like I would in a skate park. I still do rail tricks that I, I do in the streets in a skate park. So it doesn't really, I don't really categorize anything as park or street. It really just depends how you ride your deck. And I really feel that a lot of people think that um, this deck is just a park deck, which is not true at all. If you guys know like Ryan Gold, or even if you, if you guys just go to the Envy's or Blunt, it's in, if you go to like the Blunt or Envy's YouTube channel, dude, most of these guys like Charles Padel and John Rays and Max Peters and everyone, they don't ride just park. This deck is absolutely, it, it's crazy to, to categorize it as just a park deck because it's not a park deck. It, it, it just, you know, I, I'm like kind of the living proof that it's not just a park deck because if you look at my Instagram clips that I actually filmed on this specific deck right here, I can do every style of riding with it, park, vert, whatever. It really just depends um, on what I want to ride that day. So another thing too that I wanted to talk about is this deck weighs in at around three pounds. I think on uh, on the actual website, it's, it's three pounds and 9.7 ounces. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure that's uh, the weight. Not too heavy, not too, um, not too heavy, not too light. I'd say it's a perfect medium for me. Really, it spins super well, and I noticed with this deck, it's very, very well balanced. So doing trip whips flat, uh, 180 whips, everything comes around super good. And if you guys aren't uh, familiar with the 83 head tube angle, uh, it does make everything feel a little bit different, and um, it really just comes down to personal preference I think because this is an 83 head degree uh, because this is an 83 head tube angle couldn't say that why couldn't I say that so since this is an 83 um, a lot of kids that go from like say a sachem deck or a phoenix deck such as this one that's 82.5 this is one of the new sequel decks just like the uh, Cooper Clark going from this to this or going from this to this it, you can absolutely tell the difference like with manuals with this deck. It's a little bit easier That's just my opinion with the Phoenix deck. I feel like nose manuals are easier. It really just depends what style of like riding or What it, it really just depends on what you like so I think if you guys are gonna go with AOS v4 uh, they do come in I think like four different colorways the new ones are coming out So really make sure you guys go and um, be on the lookout for that. I hopefully I'll, I'll probably post on my Instagram my my story uh, the new deck so go there if you want to see it uh, it'll only be up there just for a little bit so when the video drops it'll still I'll be posting it the day of this video comes out so go to my YouTube or uh, go to my Instagram and check that out but super 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 excited to see the uh, the brand new AOS v4 decks it, they're coming out with some good products I like I like this deck so far uh, I think it was a big step from going from like the AOS V3 to this. Everything, you know, I feel got 10 times better with the width, the head tube angle and everything. The only thing that really changed is the weight. It gained a little bit of, just a little bit of weight, but then again, uh, it really just, uh, if you want a heavier deck, ride a heavier deck. If you want a lighter deck, go with like an Ethic. It's just all personal preference, but I do feel like, you know, this is a great medium for scootering uh, park and street. So guys, just to wrap it up, it's 83 head tube angle. This is the Max Peters. It's an 83 head tube angle. It is 4.9 inches wide, 15 inches of foot from from here to the brake, 15 inches of foot space, 4.9 right, uh, wide, 21 inches long, and it can fit 120 millimeter wheels. I'm pretty sure it might fit 125s. I'm, I, I think it says out of the box it can fit 120s. I'm not too sure about the 125s, but overall. Uh, with the, the way scootering is kind of heading towards bigger wheels, um, box decks and everything, I feel like the new deck that comes out is going to be a, a, a top-notch deck on uh, my, my list of best decks. So overall, guys, go and check out Envy Scooters, AOS V4 deck. You can pick it up at the Vault Pro Scooters, uh, Scooter Hut if you're in another country, like Australia. You can pick it up at many uh, just go to your local shop and see if they have it try it out try it out for yourself and uh see what all the hype's about about this deck i'm gonna be doing another review on the aos or i'm gonna do another review on the phoenix sequel deck that i actually just won at uh, a street jam 
our little jam style thing that we, we threw in Phoenix. Uh, I'm going to do a review on this. Th this deck has been one of my favorite decks, so I'm super excited to make a video on this. But I just wanted to show you guys what the AOS V4 is about, spec-wise, where you can get it. Just to share with you guys uh, another great deck that's on the market. I'm going to wrap today's video up. Uh, go down below if you want to go to my Instagram. Uh, go to my Instagram and check out the brand new AOS V4 deck. Going to be super, super, super cool. You don't want to miss it. And I'm going to wrap it up today. Today's video is done. I'll catch you guys later in the next one. Later.